WiseNet Wave's video wall feature allows system operators to use a session of the WiseNet Wave desktop application to remotely control the display of other monitors in your system. A special video wall license is required. With each video wall license, operators can control up to two virtual screens. To check the status of your video wall licenses, check the License tab in your System Administrator screen. We'll create our video wall by going to the main menu, selecting New, and then Video Wall. We can now name our video wall. The new video wall entry will appear in your resource tree on the left side. We can right click on our new video wall entry and select Attach to Video Wall. The WiseNet Wave desktop application will detect any monitor on your client PC and display them in this window. From here, you can easily configure your virtual screen to use the full area of one monitor, less than the area of one monitor, or all available monitors by clicking and dragging to resize the blue configuration box. As you configure your video wall's virtual screens, you will see the status of your video wall license in the area below. Right clicking on our video wall will allow us to see the video wall settings. Launch Video Wall when Windows starts will cause the video wall to open after a user logs into their Windows session. This can be used for client workstations dedicated to being used for a video wall application. Checking Place Shortcut on Desktop will create a shortcut to this video wall on your Windows desktop for easy access. Checking Enable Timeline on Video Wall will display the WiseNet Wave Desktop app's Flex Timeline at the bottom of the PC's primary monitor potentially allowing a video wall user to view archived footage. You can now utilize the video wall by dragging cameras that are in your resource panel into the video tile of your video wall. However, you will not be able to configure your video wall's screen. To properly configure the video wall, access the virtual screen attached to your video wall in the resource tree by double-clicking it or dragging it into your navigation pane. From here, you can configure it just as you would any other layout in WiseNet Wave Desktop. Once you're satisfied with the configuration of your new video wall screen, go ahead and save it as you would any other layout in the WiseNet Wave Desktop application. Right clicking on the video wall screen in your resource panel will reveal your screen settings. This is where you can choose to lock the video wall screen layout from being altered later, set a minimum screen size in video cells, edit the logical ID of your video wall screen for use with custom API, and change the background image of your video wall screen. Now that our dual monitor video wall configuration is complete, we can go ahead and activate our video wall. Right click on the video wall we just set up in the resource panel and click Switch to video wall mode. A prompt will explain that the WiseNet Wave desktop application must restart in order to enter video wall mode. When WiseNet Wave desktop is in video wall mode, a system operator is able to alter the items displayed through a separate instance of the WiseNet Wave desktop application as demonstrated here. You may experience some input latency based on your desktop client's location on the network. In our case, our WiseNet Wave desktop clients are both connected to this system remotely via Wave Sync. At times, it may be helpful for an operator to share his or her screen with others. This can be accomplished by once again right-clicking on the video wall in the resource panel and selecting Push My Screen. As you can see, our video wall screen is now displaying an exact image of our Wave desktop operator's machine. When configured correctly, the WiseNet Wave video wall will add efficiency and value to your WiseNet Wave VMS 
in Command Center or Guard Post settings, or anywhere where non-operator controlled monitoring stations are utilized. To learn more about WiseNet Wave software and other exciting products, subscribe to our channel or visit us at www.hanwasecurity.com.